another very special contract act as contract of indemnity so what do we mean by this indemnity when we are saying we have already seen contract of agency and there are different provisions with relates uh, to a contract of agency with specifically coming to agent or principal rights and different things are there but there is very small concept of indemnity what do we mean by indemnity what what is it what are the things that are covered under contract of indemnity let's check them out right so i believe this is visible to everybody the term indemnity means to make good the loss to compensate the party who has suffered the loss simple somebody who has suffered a loss we are just trying to indemnify it now the very basic example of contract of indemnity is insurance contract insurance is completely based on indemnity only indemnity means some loss has happened you have taken an insurance for your car now your car is damaged that is a loss for you now this loss is being made good by an insurance company that is what we can say contract of indemnity so section 124 of the indian contract act defines a contract of indemnity thus a contract by which one party promises to save the other from the caused to the uh, from the loss caused to him by the conduct of the promisor himself or by the conduct of any other person is called as contract of indemnity simple now there are two parties one would be called as indemnifier and the other one will be called as indemnity indemnity holder the person who promises to make good the loss is called the indemnifier the person whose loss is to be made good is called as the indemnity holder so if i am promising to you that i will make your loss good that means you are indemnity holder and i am the one who is going to indemnify that means i become the indemnifier simple that is what we mean by indemnity what are the different essentials of a valid contract of indemnity now when we are saying contract it will automatically include all the very basic essentials of a valid contract but contract of indemnity it includes certain other provisions also other than what are not you know required in case of a normal contract but everything which applies to a normal contract would apply here but something other than that the contract of indemnity must contain all the essentials of a valid contract simple whatever a contract contains all those things should also be there because this is also some kind of contract only it is a contract between two parties one person promises to save the other from any loss which he may suffer simple there should be some kind of promise to you know indemnify some kind of loss that we are talking about the loss may be caused by the conduct of the promisor himself or any other person it doesn't matter the contract of indemnity may be express or implied that is also there it can be expressed specifically by the words spoken or written or maybe it can be implied by the conduct of the parties as well both the ways it is possible right now one thing is there that one party is indemnifying the other that means one party is making good the loss of the other so if i am promising to make your loss good something in return i will also expect that something in return in case of an insurance is the premium so if you are paying me a premium definitely i am the one receiving money if in case the loss happens then only i will be making your loss good but what if the loss doesn't happen it's you who is making the payment so you should get some right so that is why we are looking into rights of an indemnity holder so all damages which he may be compelled to pay in any suit in respect of any matter to which the promise to indemnify applies simple all damages should be clear that is what it is that is one right of indemnity holder all damages which he may be compelled to pay in any suit in respect of any matter to which the promise to indemnity applies now what happens is because of something if you are supposed to pay something you can automatically get it because of contract of indemnity because that would also be included in your loss as an indemnity holder next it is all cost which may be compelled to pay in bringing or defending such suit if he did not contravene the orders of the promisor and acted as it would have been prudent for him to act in the absence of any contract of indemnity or if the promisor authorized him to bring or defend the suit so whatever expenses you incur because of the legal proceedings to defend yourself in normal scenario if you're going something beyond because you are assured of indemnity that would not make any loss good but in normal scenario what would have happened that is what we are including over here and that would be very much you know uh, what you can call it as indemnified or reimbursed right simple enough any anything that an indemnity holder is incurring in the pursuit of you can say 
normal case law right normal pursuit third it is all sums which may which he may have paid under the terms of any compromise of any such suit if the compens if the compromise was not contrary to the orders of the promisor and was one uh, which it would have been prudent for the promisee to make the absence of to make in the absence of any contract of indemnity or if the promisor authorized him to compens compromise the suit so again in case of suit if there is any compromise being made that would also be recovered that would also be made good by the indemnifier simple nothing so extraordinary now we have seen there are rights to indemnity holder then indemnifier who is making your loss good should also get some right right so the act makes no mention of the rights of indemnifier it has been held however that the rights of a surety again now what is surety surety is somebody who is a part of contract of guarantee now what is contract of guarantee that is there in your next class section 124 uh, section 144 141 of the indian contract act this is the rights of the promisor are virtually the same as those of the surety in case of contract of guarantee now what is a contract of guarantee contract of guarantee is a contract where one person is giving guarantee for somebody else so surety is nothing but the guarantor if i am giving guarantee for you that means i am the surety so whatever rights a surety or a guarantor has the same rights will be given to indemnity fire now time of commencement of the indemnifier's liability Indem now indemnifier is the one who is supposed to make the indem uh, indemnity holders loss good so he has certain liability now when does this liability start so in the, the indian contract act 1872 is silent on the time of the commencement of the liability of the indemnifier on the basis of judicial pronouncement of courts it can be said that the liability of the indemnifier commences as soon as the liability of the indemnity holder becomes absolute and certain when you know how much loss you have incurred this loss i am supposed to make good that is the time my liability would start if the indemnity holder himself is not sure of what is the loss and how much is the loss how can he ask indemnifier to indemnify it that is a simple logic no so as soon as it becomes certain it, it is the responsibility of the indemnifier to make it good this is what we can say by contract of indemnity